I do want to say that uh, this individual shooter was bent on engaging and killing people at random. Well, I saw some people uh, running be, around Baba. the school. Yeah, I saw something Baba happen Baba because I saw the bark, 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 so many times. Bark, bark. I took a look at this one again. Bark, 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 bark. This incident, as tragic and as bad as it is, could have been so much worse if it wasn't for the quick thinking and staff at our elementary school because there was a series of gunshots about a quarter mile away that alerted that staff and they went on an immediate lockdown. The shooter literally took his vehicle and rammed their fence and gate, entered the grounds on foot with a semi-automatic rifle that had multi-round clip he was wearing a load bearing vest that you sometimes see soldiers wear that have the clips embedded in the chest and he uh, literally because it appears that because he couldn't make access to any of the rooms that they were locked that he gave up gave it up and re-entered the vehicle and then went on his killing spree and took it to the streets of Rancho Tehama. All, all of a sudden, there was just like pop, 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 and then just like a lot of gunfire. But it was like one shot pretty rapid, like bam, 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 and then a massive amount of gunfire that lasted, it seemed like for three or four minutes. I want to say this, we have positively identified the shooter. I can't tell you his name because we have rules that require us to notify his next of kin. It's been an ongoing uh, dispute between he and another lady. In January of this year, he was arrested and charged with an assault with a deadly weapon on that person. That person is a deceased victim today. We do have confirmed five deaths, including the suspect. At this time, we are not aware of any child that has died result of this incident. We have 10 victims at different area hospitals. We know at least one of those children was in a classroom when struck by gunfire.